Grandma Susie sat reading in her favorite book, and she was very happy and enjoying what she read, and here her little granddaughter Salma entered, and she was holding a flute in her hands and trying to blow into it, and making beautiful and wonderful sounds, Grandma Susie looked at her and said, How beautiful your flute is oh Salma, who brought you the flute? The little girl replied with joy, saying, My father brought it to me, my grandmother, he is returning from work, she made it for me by the daughter of Majid's friend's uncle, when she was in the countryside visiting her aunt, and she brought it to me, see how beautiful and wonderful this thing is, the grandmother replied that it is really very beautiful my little girl, did you thank your friend and said thank you, the little girl said yes, grandma, I thanked her, but how did you do that thing, grandma tell me? Grandma Susie laughed and said, I made it from reed, Salma, and it is spread over the drains and canals in the countryside, my daughter, and it consists of some plants when they dry up and they make many useful things from it. The child thought and said, but who invented this beautiful thing? The grandmother said she was a child as small as you, Salma, the girl answered and said would you tell me her story? The grandmother said, sit, I will tell you the story. It is a beautiful, very interesting and entertaining story. Once upon a time there was a very small girl, the girl was playing on the bank of the canal near her home in her beautiful countryside villages, and on the bank of the canal was growing a long reed plant, and the little girl took an inch from the sides of the canal, and the child put the inch in her mouth and I blew strongly into her, and here a beautiful voice and a beautiful whistling sound came out of the reed, which impressed the child. Who is Shmuel, my grandmother Sozi? The little girl thought to herself, saying that the whistling is so beautiful, but why does it have one tone? She thought and said maybe one tone because there is only one hole in an inch. The little girl went and made several holes per inch with great enthusiasm and she laughed happily, until she came out many melodies included, and the child played the inch afterwards, and began to put her fingers on the holes, producing many very beautiful and wonderful tunes. The owners liked them. The game and idea of the child spread throughout the village, and the inch became called, the flute. You are the village famous for that inch and the flute, and even the shepherd who sees his sheep loves to play the flute, and even the sheep and animals all like to hear the wonderful and distinctive sound of the flute, and then the flute spread in many villages, my little girl, the girl smiled happily and thanked the grandmother and went until she played the flute in outside so as not to disturb the grandmother and make her read quietly. And at the end of the story we learn that we can make many useful things from things that have no use, and we rotate them to make something very useful and useful, as the little girl did.